Well, I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw you at the CCMAs doing just a song with you and the guitar, the audience was pretty captivated, buddy. I mean, you really did hold them in the palm of your hands. Oh, thank you very much. It's it's very nice for you to say that. Uh, You don't always get that, right? Sometimes they just, they're not there, and sometimes they get lucky, I guess. Well, you certainly got lucky there because I'll tell you, people were like talking about how how they love the shows, they love the organization, and then they love the solos that you did, uh, which, you know, kind of bridged the gap from one performer to the other because being a host, along with me, um, you know, I, I don't have that option. I don't have that option of being able to, to uh, do a song in between a couple of a couple of guys as they're preparing to get, get up on stage just to keep the audience there, just to keep the audience captured. Uh, well, that was that was another thing. We tried to fill up as many. Uh, that, that whole thing really started actually because I was thinking, you know, and to be honest, it was a little selfish of me because I was thinking in the very very beginning, I was like, well, CCMAs are coming to Hamilton in 2018. I should probably book a venue like really close to there, and I did. But then. I started to realize, I started to talk to like Peter and, and, and Linda and a whole bunch of other people who were involved, that I had an opportunity to share that stage with all the performers who aren't going to perform on that really big grand stage. And there's hundreds of us. <laughs> uh, so, so I was actually, I decided myself to just kind of like say, wait a second, let's, let's let everybody enjoy this. And then it became so much bigger and so much faster than I ever expected it to be that, uh, like I said, like I said, thank you so much for saving my butt because I thought I would be able to host all these different venues and pop back and forth and do this, but I'm only one man. I cannot do that. <laughs> so you did. You, you jumped in there, my friend, and you saved my butt, and so did a few others. And I thank them. They know, too, as well. So well, thank you, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, you you gave Coyote 103 one of the biggest uh, opportunities for promotion ever. And and it's been a, a snowball effect since then because we have had artist after artist after artist after management after management after management coming to us saying, you know, we saw you at the CCMAs. We understand you, you love independent country music. Please, can you listen to our stuff? And we have been flooded ever since then by such a great response thanks to you oh i don't want to take any credit for that sir because like i said you were the probably one of the best choices i ever made bringing you in and help get to save my butt so your talent is is much beyond what you're giving yourself credit for my friend (laughs) well i'm going to give you credit right now because you have seven nominations at the red carpet awards yeah, that's pretty awesome. I can't believe that's the real thing in real life. So yeah, it's very. Uh, it's my very first actual nominations ever. So, like I put up a post that actually said it's it is real. It just it's nice to be nominated, and it actually is a nice nice feeling to actually be able to say that anybody recognizes anything that I do, and it's it's great that people listen. 